live. A little while ago, Stella Ray made a video about kind of eating vegan on a budget. So she went to Walmart and Winco. I'm not sure if she's going anywhere else. Um, and she made a video just talking about the prices of food, like vegan food at those places. So I thought it would be beneficial to some of you who live in Canada to see a Canadian version of it. So I went to Walmart on the weekend and I just went around quickly and took some video clips of the prices of food there. And I thought that I would share it with you today. Um, there's definitely some things missing. I realized I didn't go find the price of any beans, but I know 100% that those are super cheap even in regular grocery stores. So I know that would be like really cheap at Walmart. Also, if you're one of those people who are against shopping at Walmart and you like to tell people that they're bad people for shopping at Walmart and that they should care more about where they shop, Please don't leave a comment like that on this video because this is just not the place for it. I'm trying to help out the people who think that being vegan is too expensive and therefore aren't eating vegan. Um, I want to show them that it isn't actually that expensive to be vegan and there are lots of places that you can shop that have very, very cheap food if that's what you need. So again, if you are one of those people that are super against Walmart, please just click off this video. Like <laughs> We don't need your comments. First thing I did was go to the produce aisles. So. I'll just highlight some of the produce that I saw and what the prices were. So raspberries for $2, spring mix salad for $3, blackberry $3, spinach a huge one pound container for $4, um, organic carrots a bag of them for $2, kale a whole bunch of kale for $1 and it was big too like I got one and it was this big, um, a head of broccoli for $2, five pounds of potatoes for $3 and 10 pounds for $5, which is really good price. Uh, three pounds of onions for $4. Five avocados, so it's just like a bag of them for about $5. A case of mangoes for $11. The bananas were 87 cents a pound and the organic bananas were 97 cents a pound which is really good because normally organic bananas in the grocery store are $1.20 a pound, so that's a lot less. Um, eight kilograms of jasmine rice for $11. Um, and then they had boxes of this basmati minute rice for $4. Dry pasta, so they had regular pasta, organic pasta, and gluten-free pasta, and they were all $2 a box, which is super good. Uh, they had granola cereal for $4 a box, organic brown rice crispy cereal for $4 a box, minute oats, a huge bag, I think it was 2 kilograms for $2, gluten-free wraps, so they had ones made of like rice and stuff, and they were $5 for 6 wraps. Um, the Eve's meat replacements, they are $5 approximately, like 5 to $6. Tofu was 2 to $3, depending on which one you got. I think the $3 ones were the ones that were like organic, non-GMO. Huge jars of salsa, like huge, for $4. A big bottle of soy sauce for $3. Tomato sauce, one of those really big cans, for $1. They had the new Hellman's Mayo, um, and it doesn't actually say vegan on it. It's called Carefully Crafted, so just look for that one. Um, it's vegan, and they had that for $6. Almond and coconut milk for anywhere from 2 to $4. They had bags of organic spices, so if you're looking to add some more spices to your spice collection, they had organic spices for $3 a bag. They had applesauce and canned fruit for anywhere from 2 to $5. They had this pizza yeast, so I actually bought this and used it, and it just basically, like, you don't have to let it rise. Um, you just, like, throw it in, you follow the recipe on the back, and you can make your own pizza dough. So um, that was $2 for a pack of three, and then they had five kilograms of flour for $9, which is really good. Um, maple syrup for 5 to $6. Peanut butter, anywhere from three to seven dollars for like the like all natural kind of ones, um, and almond butter from eight to ten dollars depending on the size. So obviously I didn't cover everything in here. They had things like 
you know, bread and beans and other produce and stuff that I didn't go around and take the price of everything, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea. These are the staples that I would get in a normal grocery trip, so I just wanted to kind of share my staple items as well as the prices you can get them for at Walmart. So you can definitely, definitely be vegan if you are on a food budget. Um, I wholeheartedly believe it is the most cost-effective way to eat. And, you know, if you do it right and you buy in bulk and you buy from places where it's cheaper, then it's just even that much more inexpensive. So, yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if there's any other stores you want me to go around to and um, see what vegan items they have and what the prices are. Um, let me know in the comments if you think that this stuff was super cheap or super expensive compared to where you live. And, uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything that you think I should have covered or anything that I missed other than the beans because I totally miss beans and I don't know how that happened. But yeah, I hope this is helpful and I will see you guys next time.